Nothing says empowerment like the basement. I am Dash Island, and you're listening to Dash Unhinged. So, the number one song in the world right now is called WAP by Cardi B. And it's an acronym for basically female genitalia. And I gotta say, Matt Walsh had it right. Because I heard about this song the other day. I'm like, how the hell is this number one? I'd rather a 14 minute Tool song be number one. I'd rather have Nickelback be number one again. Then again, Nickelback is actually music. And plus, I don't really have any respect for Cardi B for what she did to a bunch of men. Because the song is all about the basement. Um, Because I don't really see how objectification is necessarily empowerment. I don't see it. I don't get it. Because decades ago, we had hippies talking about wanting the less sexualization of women, which I can understand. Actually giving them a voice, giving them an image. And now we're just basically devaluing that. Anyone can see that. Um, And... So basically, we're in a regression of society where this is only more of the entropy that America is headed down towards. And I hate to be that kind of cynic. And let me take you some, through some of the lyrics of this so-called quote-unquote song. Whores in this house, there's some whores in this house. It also goes on to say, I said certified freak seven days a week, but ass pussy and make that pull game week. I can already tell this song is trash. Like, I could already say it about Nicki Minaj. Like, this is part of a culture that I don't like, where basically everyone's a whore, and you're supposed to feel proud about that. Like, where is it? Pretty sure if there were whores in the house, there's also chlamydia. Uh, There's a bunch of stuff. I can't even say half these lyrics because... They're just so stupid. Like, how does anyone call this music? Beethoven and Mozart is music. Metallica and Foo Fighters, they're music. August Burns, Red. Cardi B. Nicki Minaj is not music. And plus, a lot of this does have a lot of the N-words, so I'm not even going to go into it. But let's just say it's all about prostitution and trapping. Of course, we know trapping is whenever a woman gets themselves intentionally pregnant so they can keep a man on them. And sometimes certain celebrities will do that. And basically prostitution, are basically selling out their bodies, saying that sexualizing themselves is more important than who they are as a person. And this is a toxic part of culture. And Matt Walsh had it right, because Matt Walsh from Daily Wire, who I tend to follow, um, basically says that these people want to talk about self-respect, saying that there's some empowerment to it, but really there's no respect to it. Um, Matt Walsh, he's a father of two, and of course he has daughters. And it would be understandable to say that he is rightfully ticked off about this, because... I would be pissed too. I'm a father to be, and I would not want my child going anywhere near this. Like, I do not want them hearing this type of music because it's raunchy and bad. I would much rather raise my child on Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, uh, Tchaikovsky, as well as some of my favorite bands, because at least then, there's something there. I never really considered Cardi B music, because music is supposed to be art. Art is about beauty. I don't really necessarily call prostitution beauty. And really, if we continue to let this stuff go down the road, there's just gonna be more people feeling bad about themselves and then they're gonna keep blaming men when it was really themselves. 
And it's just this process of scapegoating that's been happening in the past decade that has been on the rise. Countless blaming of men when it's really men had nothing to do with it. And we fall into this trap and it's a cycle. It keeps going on. And now WAP by Cardi B is not the only thing that's necessarily um, objectification. There's also this one popular site called OnlyFans. And I'm not a big fan of it. Pun intended. Now, what is OnlyFans? It's a site where basically it's like Patreon, except it's like a mix of Patreon and Instagram. You can post stuff, you can do anything, and people have to pay some kind of subscription to get into it. And usually, its original purpose was that you can do anything. You can do choreography, um, what is the term for it? What they do at Comic Con, or like cosplay. You can do music. But it's very notorious for being sexual because a lot of the time it's used for pornography and stuff. A lot of strippers, amateurs, and whatnot, or people want to sell feet pics. And I'm against it because, like, since it's notorious for having a largely sexual base. I would feel ashamed if I were to take part of it because then I would be linked up to that. And usually if you want to get anywhere in the world and they find out that you're doing that stuff with OnlyFans, they won't hire you. You won't get anywhere. Instead, they'll only see you as this or that because a lot of the world is black and white instead of seeing beyond the lines. And there are many implications to it. Like, there are many people like, I have an OnlyFans because I'm trying to make money. I'm like, you could try looking for a job. I'm like, well, I had a job at McDonald's. I'm like, well, McDonald's is not going to help you. McDonald's is a job for teenagers, not for people who are trying to, like, make a living. Help. Walmart pays, like, 11 per hour for their employees, so you can actually live off of Walmart. And if you can't find a thing that needs entry level, get a degree. Make that money. But if you ruined your own credit, it's really on you. That's not on the government, that's not on other people. Alive it falls on you. And a lot of these people, they're they get only fans and they start doing that shit. They think they're hot shit. Me, I'm not gonna touch it. Because to me, I feel like I would be debasing myself. I would consider myself going to a new level. Because debasement, debasement by definition is devaluing of something. Such as whenever you print more money, you're devaluing the value of your money. Because that's exactly what happened in Germany prior to World War II. It was so debased that they used their money like uh, firewood, basically. And Debasement on a uh, debasement in more of the human form is whenever you're devaluing yourself. That's in the form of prostitution. And people are like trying to say that you're basically making a living, so why should you care? I mean, you can technically make a living off of selling drugs, but that's not going to get you anywhere. It puts you in a life of violence, puts you in a life of crime. And there's really nothing different when, when you go into sex work. I don't believe in that type of stuff. I find no justification. Just because you're making money, in my opinion, doesn't make it right. Because there are so many opportunities out there. Hell, you can work under the table to get money. Like, wipe down people's windows, repaint a house, go cut some grass. Because... Like, before I graduated, I basically worked under a table being a lawnmower for my church. And I made all right money. But if I had really expanded myself and done more, I could have made a boatload. And if I would have continued that after I graduated high school, I could be some more. Because that's basically what my brother is going to do. My brother is a bit of a deport. But basically, whenever he is able to, 
He wants to form his own landscaping biz and get out of where we used to live. He wants to move to another state and live off the green. And you know what? That's actually something respectful considering where he's at. But the main point is, is if you want to be respected and make good money, you got to put yourself in a respectable job. Because if you put yourself in a job where you get debased and doesn't have much respect, then you won't really get yourself anywhere. Because dancing on a pole, yeah, it might make money, but it's also at the expense of your image, your reputation. Because all they see you on a pole is just an object that people can touch themselves to. But then when you're home, you're a mother. And if that person recognizes you out on the street, they're still going to see you as an object and not a mother trying to make money. Meanwhile, if you're working a construction job and you're putting up something or helping repair water lines and you're working your ass off and it's going to go home and feed your kids and the person who sees you on the street recognizes you or it's a construction worker, you're like, that person's working hard. It's all in the difference of where you're at. So really, I don't see really much respect. Usually, libertarians don't care what you do just as long as you're happy doing it. But we also gotta think about the uh, moral contingencies and implications of everything. And this has been going on for the past decade. You signed people like Nicki Minaj and Miley Cyrus. Because we all remember the infamous uh, Miley Cyrus uh, twerking on a dude and touching herself in front of a bunch of fans. And they called that empowerment. That's not empowerment, that's just called you looking like an idiot. In my opinion. I don't really have much respect. Well, I actually kind of do have a bit of respect for Miley Cyrus because she cleaned her act up. And she's pretty much stopped doing that stuff because she went crazy on ecstasy and pot. I mean, pot really doesn't make me look crazy. But ecstasy does. I've seen what XC does to people, and it's messed up. And I would never respect Cardi B because she drugged men and stole her money, and she was a stripper. A stripper can make good money, but then people are like, "She did to try and get ahead." I'm like, "You're already making good money as a stripper, so why are you stealing?" There's a whole flaw in the argument. And then people are like, oh, she did her jail time. I'm like, well, it still seems like she doesn't feel like she was probably punished for it. Because, listen here, we got Bill Cosby and Cardi B. Bill Cosby drugged women, raped them. He got sent to jail, rightfully. Cardi B drugs men and steals their money. How come there's still no outrage? It's because... It's a sense of trying to feel invincible by using political powers. I don't feel it's right for a person to drug you, take your money, get a tiny slap on the wrist, and still be out there making music. If we can cancel Kevin Hart for saying things that was just really more of a joke and nothing at all serious, why can't we cancel Cardi B? She's a talentless hack, pretty much. Because it's just not right. Why is it that we allow someone who commits those crimes to keep walking? It's a double standard. If a man drugs a woman and steals her money, that guy's going to go to jail for probably 10 years. If a woman does it, it's barely anything. See the point? It's all a matter of debasement. You're basically devaluing yourself to where you basically get no respect. And then you push down to children, that should technically be a sex crime. That should count as um, a form of pedophilia. Because you're pushing on to children to see this, and then suddenly they start learning about sexual things too early. Let people find their own way. I feel it's wrong to push on to kids. Kids have no reason to be seeing all this stuff. Kids should be doing their own thing. Play some whatever game it is. Let them find out their own sexuality and whatnot in their own time. Don't push on them. I don't think it's empowering to make more people debase themselves like that. So now, 
Objectification is not empowerment. Objectification to me is wrong. Like, it's all about modesty because if you're immodest and you objectify yourself, people are just going to see you as I can be. They're not going to see you for who you are. So that is something to think about. It's not about empowerment. It's just simply about debasing your own body. If you want to have your own body and be respected, you shouldn't be hanging in the way that Cardi B goes. Objectification is not the way to go. That's really my own opinion on it. Thanks for watching.